Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about upgrading your MDT 8450 to MDT 8456. So let's get started. Now, uh, I like testing out my MDT stuff within VMware Workstation. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and hopefully this is what you are going to do, is uh, I'm going to take a snapshot. So within my VMware Workstation, I'm going to right click on that tab, go to snapshot, and take a snapshot, and just click on take a snapshot. Right, done. The reason why I'm doing this is because in case 8456 corrupts something, I'm always able to go back in time to a stable environment and continue deploying. Now, if you're not able to take snapshots like I'm doing, the other way would be to back up your entire deployment share before you push out the 8456 upgrade. Uh, if you're if you have an MDT server that's a physical server, you could back it up like Windows Backup or whatever backup utility you are using at your infrastructure. Okay. Uh, first things first, I want to show you guys that within my deployment workbench, if you click on Help and you go to About, you're going to see that my current build is 6.3.8450.1000. Uh, and that's going to change, right? So first things first, I have a folder within my desktop and on the desktop, it's called V as in Victor or version uh, 8456. Inside that folder, I have three things, uh, your ADK setup, your ADK WinPE setup and your Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 64. Now these three files are very important because one, you gotta make sure that you have upgraded the latest and greatest ADK within your server uh, that supports Windows 10 1809 okay i think i did a video for you guys already so check that out on the channel now the only thing that i need inside this folder is the microsoft deployment toolkit 64 so i'm going to right click on it click on install you're going to get the nice little wizard click on next accept the license and terms click on next next uh if you want to join the customer experience improvement program go for it i'm not going to do it so i left it as i don't want to join the program at this time click on next install it's going to start removing all the files and you're done. It's pretty seamless. Click on finish. Next thing we need to do is click on start, locate your deployment workbench, open it up, launch it up. Now, when you expand your deployment share node, you're going to see that your primary MDT node has an exclamation point. When you select it, you're going to see this unable to restore the deployment share. Do not freak out. OK, please don't freak out. Just right click on it and pick upgrade deployment share you're going to get a nice little upgrade deployment share wizard click on next from here this process takes between five to ten minutes it really depends on how much information you have within your mdt server uh, it depends on applications drivers task sequence operating systems so this process will take some time eventually when everything is done you're going to get this that's a good thing click on finish and now that exclamation point within your mdt share is gone now you're able to expand it and you should see all your nodes. Awesome. Now for me, I like to right click on my primary node and just do an update deployment share. You don't really need to do this, but this is just me being paranoid. You're going to get the update deployment share wizard again. I'm going to click on next and next. It's going to do its copying with the win file and processing whatever it needs to do. And once everything is completed, you're done. And that's it, guys. That is how you upgrade your current MDT 8450. Hopefully, you got 8450 up and running. And if you want to upgrade it to MDT 8456, it's pretty seamless. Don't freak out if you see that exclamation point. Just right click on it, upgrade the deployment share, and you're good to go. But before you push out the upgrade, if you're using a virtual machine for your MDT server, take a snapshot. If you're not, back up the entire deployment share. Back this up, okay? Take it to another location, back it up, and then upgrade. If something happens, you are able to uh, reinstall 8450 and then point it to that deployment share, you know, the one that you just copied and paid somewhere, right? So hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.